Hello, this is Mary Lynn Van Sweeten with Partners in Technology. Today I am going to show you how to record a miscellaneous cash receipt in Sage 100. Now what I mean by a miscellaneous cash receipt, this is a check that you've received from someone other than a customer, so you have no invoice to apply it to. Now there's a couple things that you could do with this. You could create a fake customer and issue an invoice and apply it against the invoice, but it's really not revenue and that would take a lot of time. You could write a simple journal entry to record it, but journal entries don't go to the bank reconciliation module. You could use a transaction entry in General Ledger, but we know that those are a little awkward to set up, and while we can make it to go to bank reconciliation, again, like I said, it's a little awkward. I think there's a really nice, clean, simple way of recording these types of cash receipts. I'm going to go to the Accounts Receivable module, I'm going to go to the main menu, and I'm going to go to Cash Receipt Entry. I'm just going to select the next um, de um, deposit number. I'm going to use my bank code D and I'm going to use today's date. And I'm going to do a $50 deposit. When I come inside, I'm presented with the field of a customer number. Well, like I said, we don't have a customer number. I'm going to use a special customer number that Sage has reserved just for these types of situations. In my example, I'm using division, so I have to start with a division number, and then I'm merely going to type in cash. What happens, the name field opens up, and I can use this for whatever I want. I'm going to uh, use it to record the, the memo of insurance reimbursement. Now, I could put who it came from, whatever I want, but the important thing is this is the description that's going to show up in the general ledger. So you could put who the check came from, whatever it is that you'd like to do. I'm going to record my $50, and when I come to the lines tab, you'll see that the invoice number field is grayed out. It's because I have no invoice. I'm going to have to choose a general ledger account number. Now, in my case, my insurance account that I wanted to go to is uh, 6300100. You'll see that it's insurance. I could post the entire $50 there, or in my case, I'm only going to post $10. I can add some comments, or I can come, and then I could come to the next line, and I'm going to use my 630 account, but I want to use um, a separate division. Uh, of my insurance, and I want the other $40 to go there. Once I click on Accept, I'm going to print and update this just like any other cash receipt in Sage 100. I'm sending this to Paperless Office, so we're going to see the PDF in just a moment, and then I'll be able to update. Here's my update. Had I made a miscellaneous comment, those comments would show up in here, but you could see here uh, my insurance reimbursement. That's what's going to show up in my expense account in my general ledger. So let's update this, and let's do the daily transaction register. Here we go, and you could see this is the comment that's going to go into my ledger. I'm going to update this, and now if I go into the Bank Reconciliation module, I'm going to come to Reconcile Bank, and I'm going to bring up Bank Code D, and let's look at Deposits. Here's my deposit for $50 that I've just recorded. I think this is pretty simple. Would love to know what you think. Hope this is an interesting and helpful video for you. If you like this video and would like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll be notified each time there's something new posted. Thanks for watching.